Cybercrime is a business. There are buyers and there are sellers and there are marketplaces and there are stores and shops and it is an underground enterprise. And in this video, I want to shine the spotlight and pull back the curtain on one seller sharing his product and service uh, to the world and trying to entice and attract potential customers and clients and grow the business, bring in revenue and income and up his sales. That's going to mean improving the product. That's going to mean great testimonials and getting that product market fit. It's all about building this empire of business. So let's get into it. So I am online on XSS.is, which is a well-known hacker forum where individuals collect together to share news, tools, vulnerabilities, and exploits, and malware, and everything in that realm of threat actor malicious activity. So I stumbled across this thread in their malware marketplace with the title Disable Antivirus for Windows 7, Windows 10, and Windows 11, 100% FUD or fully undetectable, and a private stub. Scrolling down, examining, moving into the thread, this individual, M-K-D-E-L-E, M-K-D-E-L-E, I don't know how you want to pronounce that, uh, he says, hello, I'm selling a program for disabling antivirus software, which disables most antivirus, Windows Defender, Kaspersky, Avast, etc. The program achieves the effect of disabling antivirus through the exploit. You can literally start any program you want and customization is accepted. If you need other functions, just contact me. He's trying to build up, oh, these are the great features of this product and I want to be available and offer support as a great vendor, provider, and seller. He also includes a demo video, which is actually super important in a lot of these business transactions here. Uh, a lot of folks will whine and complain and call out if the proposed seller is not including any screenshots or video demonstrations or proof of what they're trying to sell here. So they include this video, and I'll open this in another tab here, take a look. This is a demo of them using this utility. You can see Windows Update is running. This looks like a Windows 10 virtual machine. It is up to date as of what would have been, I think, July. Uh, and it then goes ahead and showcases Windows security is on, real-time protection is on, cloud delivered, and no exclusions are set. Now, he goes ahead and actually takes a look at his utility, opening up this folder here, WDF bin. I don't know if you can see it, but simply running it, checking back over to that virus and threat protection window, now it can't seem to retrieve any of those protection information settings or moving into those virus and threat protection settings. Everything is toggled off. There are no allow threats, quick scan does nothing, and actually moving into this to zoom in even more, if you try to toggle any of these on or off, it brings it right back to being off. Uh, kind of wild. Uh, I'm sold, right? At least on that idea. Kind of wild to see. And he puts together, hey, here's the price, $600 for one antivirus. However, you can purchase an all-in-one for every single potential AV or EDR software thing you might be trying to nerf. I've seen people selling something similar at unreasonable prices. So now I offer a version, $1,800, a build and kill all antivirus. Price of the corporate version is different and needs to be negotiated. We accept any guarantee necessary. Here's how you can reach me out on Telegram or Jabber and Talks. Reach out to me with a DM here. We have some private methods and public methods that work with both kernel and user mode. It can use different methods depending on the situation, so our service can last as long as we want, and we're always rewriting the code. New features will be coming soon. Have some turns and conditions, and pretty cool, you can start to see the back and forth between folks being interested in this. It says, oh, the seller's coming back in, the program could allow you to load anything, add startup without being detected, don't have to worry about special behaviors triggering detection. And I'm thinking, this is pretty wild. Like, that video looked, you know, spooky. But this individual asks, does it have any dependencies like the .NET framework, or is it native? Also, does it require admin privileges in order to work as intended? It says, hey, yes, the file is native. So you don't need to have anything special. And it does require admin privileges. I'm like, okay, so this sort of gives it away in my mind. Okay, if you're the administrator, you obviously have the capability to turn off and disable antivirus solutions or other security mechanisms you might have place. The way that he's forcing it off, it looks pretty wild and neat. And then this other individual comes in and says, hey, can you give a complete list of the antiviruses that you support? What about Sophos or product XYZ, you know? Software ABC. He says, hey, 
The seller responds here, look, right now we're targeting Windows Defender, Kaspersky, 360, Avast Norton, to Pit Defender, etc., etc. I haven't tested Sophos yet, but it comes. If you start to carry on more and more of this conversation, you'll see, ooh, they're bringing in some good stuff to keep up the product uh, roadmap. They say, hey, looks very good. I hope it's possible with Sentinel-1. He comes back, I think it is possible. In theory, there's no problem. Well, yeah. If you're running as the administrator, you can kind of nerf those things if you have the know-how. It says, hey, really good. I'm looking forward to this. How do you install this? Is there an EXE that removes the active uh, antivirus and then acts as a loader? It says, just upload it, execute it via your loader or RAT, remote access Trojan. It'll disable antivirus until the system is rebooted or keep it disabled. I don't know what that means. So until the system is rebooted or it keeps it disabled? Like it could do one or the other. Maybe it'll come back on a reboot. Whatever. Is the threat actor and the adversary and the hacker right? You could probably do enough damage in one active online session. In the meantime, you can do whatever you want. It says, hey, a very similar one was out in December on hackforums.net. The price was a lot cheaper. I took it, but it didn't work. Then that seller was banned on the forum. And the new original seller for this threat says, hey, I was tracking that. His program seems to have stopped working and doesn't support Windows 7. We're different. I'm better. I've got the better product. You want to do business with me. And here he comes in. Update. Hey, now we support Sophos. Now we're amping up our functionality and features, making this more attractive in this cybercrime market. This guy says, hey, answer me in a direct message. Hey, replied, checking in. And I love this. If anyone's interested about disabling the enterprise version, the price is different and we need to negotiate. The version will be supported soon, tackling enterprise editions, but we're looking for someone who'd like to use private info. Once we find a partner, we'll no longer provide the service. Okay, so trying to get an exclusive deal, someone a little bit on the of an insider on the, on the business, and then boom, update, supporting the enterprise version. This is now getting into 2022, et cetera, months earlier. Uh, actually, am I looking back on this? No? Okay, so this is still April, because the way that I was reading uh, those dates, I might have had backwards. So April is when he's starting all this conversation here, and this thread continues for quite a while. Some folks are calling him out, yo, are you that idiot who stole some driver? Blah, blah, blah. And they say, I don't know, what are you talking about? Conversation continues. Actually, the author comes and says, now I've got new packages. I sell on other forums. I don't, I have no sell on other forums or reach out to me on Telegram, maybe. Please verify by purchasing. No need to worry about it if it stops working. Oh, 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 so they have more in the mix. It's things that will uh, come back in, as reinforcements. It says we're working, still looking for partners. The band, some individual, uh, a message that's kicked off the forum here. It says, hey, I sent you a message on Telegram. Let's keep chatting says, we're working, we're working, we're still putting this out there, we're still making moves, we're still looking for long-term customers. He's trying to bump up and drive more business. Now we support CrowdStrike. Mm, okay. Again, adding to that roadmap, increasing functionality, and they're like, hey, can we get a demo? Can we get a demo with Sophos against it with temper protection on? It's like, yep, got a demo. Check private message. Okay, I would have loved to see that in action, right, in the public forum, but he's trying to land the deal. He's trying to uh, get the ramp for those sales there. He did not show that the service stopped. I saw one of those Sophos processes appeared. Is the server started again? Mmm. He says, reply. I clarify. I sent a demo of the Sophos. The WV misunderstood. Oh, that author, that, uh, that thread original poster. They misunderstood. The service did not restart interesting a little bit of back and forth trying to defend his 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 baby trying to pretend uh, or trying to force the fact hey reiterate and emphasize look i'm uh, putting together the best work that we've got out here i took it gritting my teeth for sophos and at first it didn't work curse the next day i turned into food and it works what <laughs> i paid in advance but here you can see for yourself this thing generally works okay it's got some good testimonials some that he might be used as a, as a case study. Highlight the, suce the success of his product. Software based on a vulnerable driver? If yes, then public. Seller responds, hey, we have got private methods and public methods with both kernel mode drivers and user mode. 
Can use different methods depending on the situation. Mmm, looking good. Why kill your antivirus when you can add file exclusion? So you're just trying to tease the user and make it pay attention? Valid, valid. It says, hey, this is a demo video. It's designed to demonstrate the functionality of the program. There really is no sense to kill an antivirus when you can just add exclusions. It can be used to kill an antivirus that might have password protection or things that could be detected by behavioral engines or corporate other security mechanisms. It says, what language is this written in? We have different versions, C++ and .NET. Okay. Now we're catching up to real time, by the way. I'm recording this at the very start of September. Looks like we're getting into about June. Interesting. I might sell the source code for one of the methods. I'll give details if I decide. Sales won't stop because I have many other methods. Look at that. Look at that confidence. Braggadocio. He knows like, look, we're top dog. Other competitors can't hang because I've got so many different potential techniques here. Some fellow says, hey, does the 600 price tag include permanent updates? Do I have support for life? What's the contract here? And he's like, nope, just means one build. Okay, got to keep the money rolling in. Passive income. And this other one harping back in the Sentinel-1 conversation. Look, can we test? Can I get a demo? Can I see this under Sentinel-1? I'm looking for bypasses against Carbon Black, you know, another EDR solution. Let me know if you can provide it. I'll buy a full pack for 1800 or more. I don't care about money if you can bypass these EDRs. Look at that. Good deal. That's a customer that you want to have. Look, I don't care how much it costs. I'll pay it if you give me this service and functionality that I need. Seller comes right back in. Absolutely, man. Sentinel-1 is supported. Check the DMs. Nice. Looks like a solid product. Thank you. End of conversation as of last month. Super curious, how is business going for our good friend MK Daily? Is he looking for seed funding? Is he looking for more things to bring in? How can he further his business? All in the product of cybercrime, disabling antivirus and getting back in action. Again, looking at this video, it's kind of wild. I don't know what videos are playing in Vimeo right now. <laughs> but looking back at this thing, take a look. See that one more time. I think it's wild. And again, I look, grain of salt. I don't know if this is fact or crap. I don't know what's real or what's fake. I can't validate this. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to purchase this functionality to disable antivirus and go do this business with some criminal out here in some hacker form. But I wanted to shine the light and, and spotlight this thing so you can kind of see those back and forth, how deals are being made, how business is being handled, how this individual wants to be a vendor and a provider. And it, it's got seemingly some customers that may be a better business model than other legitimate, good and well-intended corporations and <laughs> enterprises in our world and in, in, in the real world, right? Not just that hacker underground. So... Something to keep in mind. I don't know what you think. I don't know if you hold a candle to this thing. I don't know if it's believable in your eyes or not. But if anything, I just wanted to show that back and forth. And hopefully that is a little bit eye-opening. And like, yo, these sort of deals, those sort of things, that communication does happen. And this is one example in that marketplace of many threads all the time coming in. Whether it's new ones each week, there's always someone looking for a hacker for hire, looking for malware to sell, looking for all the services as part of this underground industry and enterprise in cybercrime. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do all those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you know the drill. Patreon and Patreon and the support link in the description. Uh, you know it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you in the next video.